Good morning, I'm Julia. Welcome to my garden. It is Tuesday the 18th of June and ah, sunshine, hooray, We're breaking the weather for us. Going to do a few little odd jobs and things around here. Going to sow a few things in the greenhouse. Uh, going to give everything in here a good watering but I'll do that later this afternoon I brought some watering cans of watering to warm up to the same temperature as the greenhouse so that I don't give my beautiful plants any shocks I'm going to have a check on the little cucumber it's going to be this big after I checked on it yesterday isn't it? from this big to this big do you think? no it's going to be fine <laughs> the cucumbers that are in the big pots at the trellis, at the arches are doing really, really well, as you saw yesterday. I hope. Um, so we're gonna try and get out and get a few things out in the ground while there's a break in the weather. That'll be nice. So come along with me, and I'm gonna sow a few seeds. You know my yard, poor yard, poor yard, long beans outside. We're not happy. I think they just did not like all that rain and they. It was lovely when I planted them out and it should, from all intents and purposes, the weather should have been fine. But June chucked us a curveball. So I'm not going to take the risk of planting them outside. I'm going to plant them. You know where I lost my Armenian yard long cucumbers? I'm going to put them in those planters. So I'm going to go again with red noodle beans and asparagus green noodle beans I'm going to pop them in these planters not many just enough to give it a go like maybe six seeds in each I'm going to do green on one side red on the other and see what happens so that's what we'll do uh, should we start down there with the green okay so I'm going to pop them in here which is quite moist which is a good thing so we're going to do asparagus green on this side and this says so da -da -da, huh. okay I'm just going to push them in let's see how many have we got quite a few seeds last year actually I might do six or eight one seeds will get served next year. Eight. See what happens. They might work, they might not. <laughs> They'll either grow or they won't. Which was my springtime saying, wasn't it? And give those a little water in him. the red noodle beans. Let's remove the Armenian yard long label because that's not going to be correct is it? <laughs> These packets of pain to get into. Do -do 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 -do. In me on time. Here we go. So we want eight beans from this for this side as well. One, two, three. One. Just gotta get three of them back in the pack, so two, three. Alrighty. Thank you. 
the light light going in I know but all right let's just have another look at the packet shall we that water in it sorry battering the um have a look yeah long way through to the inside the greenhouse from mid-april to early june so in actual fact not too bad we're still within the parameters of sowing time it's not quite early june it's mid-june but a week it's not too bad to be a week out also thinking of sowing some spinach matador directly outside in a block <sighs> patty pan squashes I can still sow them I have sown so many of these and they have completely let me down but that watermelon over there doesn't look like it's doing anything it still looks as sad as it was yesterday so maybe I'll start some off in that tub with that take that out at later date I don't think they're going to do anything because I just think they're the most awkward things in the world to try to germinate how they move good boy so I'm thinking in the other watermelon pot how many seeds have we got left Maybe that's why they give you so many. What do you think? I'm going to sow. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to sow about eight in one place. In that pot. With the watermelon. And then if the watermelon does anything, I'll take them out and transplant them. If they germinate, which I've not got much hopes for. Because they've just not been great. These are from King Seeds and I think I've probably sown about eight already and not a single one of them has even germinated let alone, let alone come to a place where I can do anything with it. Let's go for it, let's put eight seeds in. Double my chances. That one's not going to be going anywhere is it? Odd shape. One, two. Choose the biggest and plumpest if we can. And the most regular shaped and the most undamaged. I don't know why I'm saving them. If these lot ain't going to come up, that'll be 100% non germination. I'm not taking the watermelon out yet, so I'm going to give it a fighting chance. I'm going to sort these things around it. I just need that pot, I can get in a bit easier. Hopefully. Okay. It's the same as I did with the other things. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. On edge. About half an inch deep. I'm going to do some at different levels just to see if it was the planting levels that were too deep. So it doesn't feel like they were. Let's give them a watering in. But add some labels, hadn't I? So this is my second sowing of leeks as you can see they're getting to be quite for the most part a decent size now so it's time to get them in the ground somewhere so they are going to go for a little while so they can come and work into that bucket of water put that down there so that we can wash the soil off them Oh, so I'm going to look a little bit the worst of the way after all that rain. 
roots coming out the bottom. <laughs> Oops. That's because it's been so wet, I've not been able to get out here to do this. <laughs> Let's take some of the soil off there. Pop it into that bit. Okay. Pop that in there. And I'm just going to leave that soaking for a little while. Terry, at least the water's warm, mate. <laughs> I'm going to do a little bit of tidying up while they just have a soak, so we'll come back to them. We'll see how they're doing. A little jiggle. And a bit of a hand. Get rid of as much of the soil from in the roots as we can. As everybody knows, you've seen it loads of time. starting to come apart with nice root systems so actually I put it up kind of popped around the garden wherever there's gaps and then I've got a third sewing of them to do as well yeah okay Tickling the roots. They'll come clean and come away. It's just patience, really, isn't it? It's a virtue, as I say. That water won't get wasted, I'll stick it on the garden somewhere afterwards. We're going to start by popping some of them in this bed. There are a few little gaps here and there, just sort of um, around there, and the same over at the other side, and the same in that corner there. because of the sunflower but I'm putting it in as far as I can because I don't have a bigger bigger one and I riddle the top and I riddle the bottom I think we'll get two in here not three actually that's a baby leak <laughs> bit baby really that one I'm hoping the squash will kind of. What is this squash? It's labelled disappeared. Hmm, interesting. I won't know when it grows. I where its label's gone. So, all I'm going to do for now is lower the leaks in, and then I'll come back and do the washing bit in a little while. Twisting them get them to put the roots to go down. It does help. <laughs> That's one. They're looking quite nice actually already. Quite nice leeks. I suppose you want to know what they, what they are, don't you? I can do that, see? Haha. <laughs> they are Leon 2. We can get some in down here. to be fair. <laughs> Start them around jewels.
as you all already know, I'm sure, washing in leaks, just fill the hole and let the soil wash in around them. Helps if your aim is really good with the washing pan, which mine clearly is not. Seems bonkers, doesn't it, to be needing to water anything in after all that rain we've just had. And if it was an ordinary plant, clearly I wouldn't. But they're leeks, so they're special. <laughs> special treatment for leeks. It really is lovely to have some sunshine. I think we'd all forgotten what it felt like, didn't we? There we are. That's all the leeks in on this one. Let's bob over here. Do these ones that are over here. This still needs sorting out. Do -do -do. <laughs> I'm just going to bob on and do this. You've just watched me do the others. You know what the crack is. I was just tending to these tomatoes, taking off a few of the lower leaves where they were trailing a little, and I found it. I went and blooming and found it. Let's go in this way then. We found. I hope you're seeing it. Yes, you are. The first tomato of the season. That's the first one I've seen so far, anyway. Hurrah! 